Welcome to Ingeniero.org. In this video, I'll discuss the four things you should know about electrical engineering. 1. What is electrical engineering? Electrical engineering deals with the design, operation and protection, maintenance and economics of electrical equipment and electrical systems with emphasis on ethical values to harness economically and safely the materials and forces of nature for the benefit of society and the environment. It focuses with the generation, transmission, distribution and utilization of electricity. Electrical engineering field first became an identifiable occupation in the later half of the 19th century after commercialization of the electric telegraph, the telephone, and electric power distribution and use. Apart from the production of electricity, it also includes the development and real-life applications of electrical circuitry, digital systems, signal processing electrical equipment, instrumentation and machine control. 2. What are the required subjects you'll encounter in electrical engineering? The fundamental subjects of electrical engineering usually include, trigonometry, calculus, general chemistry, physics, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, engineering management, computer fundamentals and programming, electrical circuits, electromagnetics, electrical equipment operation and design, principles of communication, AC and DC machinery system design, transformer and AC apparatuses, electrical transportation and distribution and power plant engineering. 3. What do electrical engineers normally do? Electrical engineers' job duties may require, evaluating electrical systems, products, components, and applications, preparing electrical plans, confirming systems and components' capabilities by designing testing methods and properties. Electrical engineers develop electrical products by studying customer requirements. They also assure product quality by designing electrical testing methods and prepare product reports by collecting, analyzing, and summarizing information and trends. Electrical engineers work on a variety of projects, such as power plants, robots, manufacturing plants, radars, navigation systems, wiring and lighting in buildings and other kinds of electrical systems. 4. Where do electrical engineers typically work? One of the subfields of electrical engineering is power and energy engineering. Power and energy engineering deals with the generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity as well as the design of a range of related devices. These include transformers, electric generators, electric motors, high voltage engineering, and power electronics. Another subfield of electrical engineering is signal processing. Signal processing deals with the analysis and manipulation of signals. Signals can be either analog or digital. For analog signals, signal processing may involve the amplification and filtering of audio signals for audio equipment or the modulation and demodulation of signals for telecommunications. For digital signals, signal processing may involve the compression, error detection and error correction of digitally sampled signals. Another specialization that you may consider is instrumentation engineering. Instrumentation engineering deals with the design of devices to measure physical quantities such as pressure, flow, and temperature. The design of such instruments requires a good understanding of physics that often extends beyond electromagnetic theory. For example, flight instruments measure variables such as wind speed and altitude to enable pilots the control of aircraft analytically. Last subfield under electrical engineering is optics. Optics deals with the generation, transmission, amplification, modulation, detection, and analysis of electromagnetic radiation. The application of optics deals with design of optical instruments such as lenses, microscopes, telescopes, and other equipment that uses the properties of electromagnetic radiation. Other prominent applications of optics include electro-optical sensors and measurement systems, lasers, fiber-optic communication systems, and optical disc systems like CD and DVD. Thank you very much for watching. See you on our next video.